Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Yo with Apex Wheels and today is an exciting day. We are launching a brand new line of forged wheels. This line is called our Sprint line and it is where our lightest wheels will live. To start off at launch, we've got two new designs, the VS5 RS and the EC7 RS, and we've got more to come. Our first generation of forged wheels were designed with very high load ratings and extreme strength in mind. We know that not all drivers need that. Some of you guys just want the lightest wheel possible. And the Sprint line is that answer. We've been able to design a wheel to be as light as possible without compromising strength. These forged wheels are already among the lightest wheels available on the market. But what makes them so special is that these wheels could have been up to a pound lighter if we wanted them to be. So why didn't we make them as light as possible? Because motorsport wheels need to take abuse and ultralight wheels typically aren't up to that task. Even though we didn't have to, we increased the load rating on these wheels for extra strength, which makes them a bit heavier. Even more uncommon is the extra beefy inner lip. We left over a half a pound of material just to make sure we reinforce that inner lip because what's the point in making lightweight wheels if they're prone to bending? We don't want a wheel that's light on paper but weak in the real world. These wheels wouldn't have been possible without over two and a half years of hard work developing new forging dies that allowed our engineering team to design these wheels with deeper, more concave spokes, a larger inner barrel, and a more robust sprint spec inner lip. The motorsport dies we created will be the foundation for many new styles within the sprint line to come, and also other new exciting lines that wouldn't have been possible without these motorsport dies. We created them to cover all the key sizes from 17 inches to 20 inches in diameter, and as narrow as seven inches to as wide as 13 inches. That will allow us to cover countless performance applications from narrow VW fitments all the way to wide Corvette fitments and everything in between. At launch, we'll be releasing fitments for BMW, Porsche, Corvette, Camaro, Mustang, Supra, and more to come with new fitments releasing every month. Let's take a closer look at what makes the Sprint line so special by taking a look at these two new wheel designs we have at launch. So what we have here is the new EC7 RS. Might be a familiar design for you guys because this wheel's actually been around for about 10 years for us as a flow formed wheel, the EC7. We later released a forged version called the EC7R that added side milling and obviously the forged construction to have a strong and even more lightweight version of that wheel. This iteration, the RS or our sprint line version of the EC7 is the lightest version of those three wheels. We've added even more deeper side milling, more concave spokes to again, get you to that lightest wheel possible for this timeless motorsport design. For comparison, the original EC7 in the popular 18 by nine and a half fitment weighed in almost 22 pounds. The forged EC7R reduced that weight to about 20 pounds, while the new EC7 RS drops that weight even further down to the 18 pound range. Now on to the VS5 RS. This is a brand new design for Apex. It's a split five spoke design and a lot of you guys in our surveys have been asking for our take on that wheel and here it is. The VS5 RS is actually a bit lighter than the EC7 RS in certain fitments. Our forging blanks contain a lot more aluminum giving us the freedom to optimize designs for strength, stiffness and weight. To keep prices down, a lot of manufacturers use blanks with much less material. That does allow them to make their wheels cheaper, but the designs are often compromised for stiffness, which doesn't get disclosed in the specifications. Additionally, the entire face of the wheel is much more concave now. We've added a new profile for spec to describe our deepest wheels as our concavity is more than anything we've ever had before. All of our forged wheels are made using 6061 T6 aluminum and forged using 10,000 tons of pressure. After that, they're finished off with powder coating. Let's take a deeper look at the spoke design of the EC7 RS. So I've got 
an older EC7R model up for comparison because when you look at that compared to the RS, you can really see the difference in the spoke design. One of the biggest evolutions in our wheel design that is prominently featured in our Sprintline wheels is the thinner but deeper spokes. You can really see the difference when comparing one of our new EC7RS wheels to the older EC7R wheel. From the front profile, they're a lot thinner, but when you look at them from the side, the spokes go back much further. This depth change makes them 50% stiffer than our first generation of forged wheels as the deeper spokes are actually more rigid. Here's the game changer when it comes to weight on the sprint line of wheels. It's the deep side milling that we were able to accomplish on the spokes. We were really proud of the deep milling that we were able to do on the EC7Rs, but on the sprint line, we were able to take that concept even farther by going deeper and wider. The EC7RS has almost four times more material removed from the side of the spokes than our original R version. That's a game changer when it comes to weight savings. We're machining these sprint line wheels up to twice as deep and 50% wider depending on the spec. You can really see the difference. A lot of people assume that forged wheels are automatically a lot stronger and less prone to bending just because they are forged. But it's really the lip design itself that affects strength in this area, not just the material alone. Our sprint spec inner lip uses a unique C-channel design that essentially adds a second support ring to the lip. When you look at it side by side next to a traditional lip, the difference is obvious. After a lot of testing, this was the most weight efficient way to significantly improve both the strength and stiffness of the lip. Although the design has a great strength to weight ratio, it still takes over half a pound of extra material to achieve this shape. And you can't just add weight anywhere on the lip to match these results. Location is so critical that we could never have made this lip design if we didn't design our own motorsport forging dies. The changes to the die that improved this area were some of the hardest to pull off. To get a few extra millimeters of material into the area we really wanted, we had to add a lot of extra material all along the entire length of the barrel on the raw forging blank. During production, we were machined all of that extra weight away. Here's a competitor's forged wheel sold for motorsport use that's made from an off-the-shelf forging blank designed by overseas engineers. As a result, the drop center is in the weirdest place. It goes back unnecessarily far, which blocks many calipers from fitting underneath. In comparison, our sprint line wheels feature a high clearance drop center that starts as early as possible, which is critical for clearing brakes on applications such as Porsche, Corvette, VW, and many others where the calipers are extra close to the face of the wheel. Additionally, we've eliminated the taper of the barrel, which allows us to reach the maximum diameter of the barrel as early as possible. Calipers tend to touch the barrel right at the top corner of the drop center. So this was a welcome improvement over our previous generation of wheels. The extra few millimeters we get from the zero degree draft allows us to fit more big brake kits and the ones that already fit get even more breathing room to help avoid rocks and other debris from getting stuck and scraping up your calipers. These forged wheels feature unpainted knurled beads. The gear cut knurling is added to grip the tire better in order to reduce rotation of the tire on the rim under hard braking and acceleration. If a tire slips on a rim, then the balance gets thrown off, which can lead to a vibration. It's extra annoying to take your street-driven car to the track and then drive home with an imbalance. We go the extra step of masking off the bead surface and keeping any paint off this area. Paint can fill in the knurling marks, making them essentially useless. You can see and hear the difference in comparison to this competitor's wheel with paint over their knurling. Unpainted, the knurling is much sharper. Our wheels feature oversized lug bores so you can easily fit most impact sockets without scraping the finish off your wheels. This VS5 RS is a Camaro fitment, and the Camaro uses much larger lug nuts than a BMW or Porsche application. Instead of requiring Camaro customers to downsize their hardware, we made sure to adapt the wheel to their needs. 
as you can see, I can easily fit a 24 millimeter impact socket into the lug recess of this wheel, even though the car comes with 22 millimeter nuts from the factory. So we put the same amount of attention into all of our wheels. Here's an extra little touch we added because we never really liked how hard it was to read the specifications of a wheel. If we spin the wheel around real quick to look at the inner barrel, we can see our logo and the key specifications laser engraved directly into the wheel. Consumers give too much trust to wheel manufacturers when it comes to safety and testing. The aftermarket wheel industry is completely unregulated in the United States, so there's a crazy amount of false advertising going on when it comes to testing and certification. That's why we put so much emphasis on the importance of independently validated test results. In the past, we did all our independent testing with the VIA in Japan to the JWL standard. And we'll continue to do so for our flow-formed wheels. But for the sprint line, we wanted to conduct much more rigorous tests with higher load ratings and longer test durations that go above and beyond the standard by as much as 100%. Because the VIA is a very strict organization, they only run the test their way, so we had to go find somebody else. We selected a US-based laboratory in Ohio called Standard Testing Labs to conduct the more stringent tests and provide reports we can share with you. With STL's help, we're independently validating that all our internal testing was correct and that our wheels really are stronger as designed. Like all of our wheels, these sprint line wheels come with a lifetime structural warranty against manufacturer defects and a one-year finish warranty. If that isn't enough, Apex offers a discounted replacement program for wheels damaged from abuse or incidents. That means you go off track at 120 miles an hour and flip your car over end to end and damage your wheels in the process, you can get the damage wheels replaced for 50% off. You can use it for damage as minor as curb rash or as serious as complete destruction. This program is designed to support racers. It's hard to drive at the limit if you're worried about damaging the expensive parts on your car. We're not here to make money off of your mistakes. So go ahead and check the website for details on the lifetime warranty and for our replacement program. That pretty much wraps it up for this video, everyone. I wanna thank you guys for watching and please let us know what you think about this new Sprint line of wheels or if you have fitments you'd like to see come out in the future, let us know down in the comments below. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos in the future. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.